What up dudes and chicks? Today we're going to take a look at the updated version of the Fox Rampage Pro Carbon Downhill Mountain Biking Helmet and how it compares to the original that came out a few years ago. So let's check it out. So the Rampage Pro Carbon name has actually been around for a while, but this iteration or shell shape that looks nearly identical to the Fox V3 motocross helmet came out back in 2019. The shell definitely has a lot of interesting angles and shapes to it. I think the back takes a lot of influence from Bell motocross helmets, and then the front maybe takes a lot of influence from older style Fox motocross helmets. Definitely kind of a unique and radical look for mountain biking, but I think it's totally cool. There's a ton of ventilation built into the shell, all with that lattice style grid pattern you see. The visor is set in a fixed position. And this thing is wide open in the front. So definitely something you can climb in, although oh, that's coming from an e-biker. The 2019 version had this fluid inside technology, basically these little blue pods with gel inside. And it was designed to sort of mimic cerebral spinal fluid in the event of a rotational impact. So the latest updated version of the helmet came out in 2021. And as you can see next to the 2019 version has an identical shape. Of course, ignoring the camera mounts I have on the 2019 version on the left. However, there are subtle differences even to the shell itself. So let's take a look. The original version did feel very much like a prototype. Even the carbon shell seemed to be multiple pieces as you can see by the gap I'm pointing out in the shell with my finger there. Not necessarily super noticeable or even a bad thing. As I said, it did feel kind of experimental and perhaps even more trick. Moving over to the updated version, the 2021 version shell seems to be one single piece. So it has a much cleaner look and overall probably better. There's no seam in the shell, as you can see there, except for the visor being a separate piece, of course. But otherwise, the shape of the shell is exactly the same. All the same vents, all the same angles. The visor is the same shape and in the same fixed position. However, it is no longer fully magnetic. The original 2019 version had a fully magnetic visor that was designed to break away in the event of a crash, just as a safety feature. However, they've gone away from that. I guess they thought it was breaking away too easy. I didn't find that to be the case personally, so interesting decision there. And now the two side mounts are mounted via little plastic screws while the center mount is still a magnet. Perhaps the most significant and certainly most interesting update is the move away from the fluid inside technology to a standard MIPS liner. I believe the fluid inside technology was developed by Fox, but kind of set up as its own company. And it sounds like MIPS maybe bought out fluid inside and then shut it down in a sort of anti-competitive practice. That's just speculation. I also saw speculation that fluid inside was just considered to be too heavy. And in order to reduce the weight, they went to a standard MIPS liner. Speaking of the lining, the interior padding is totally different and has been updated for the better as far as my head is concerned at least. The old 2019 version definitely started to feel like it was sitting on top of your head and there were definitely some pressure points on the top of your skull. After a 30-45 minute ride it started to be a little painful. Now it's all about the cheek pads. The cheek pads do have these little tabs for emergency removal in the event that you're unconscious and the first responder needs to pull your helmet off. Now the helmet definitely feels like it sits on your cheeks. That's the pressure point. So it does make you feel like you're a blowfish a little bit, but perhaps a better analogy is it's a lot more like a race car helmet. 
a little more difficult to talk in, but because it is so snug up front on the face, it makes it feel a lot lighter on the head overall. And so no real pressure points or fatigue when you're out on a ride. Now you might expect the helmet to be a lot more difficult to take off with the bigger cheek pads, but luckily the fabric liner over the pads is nice and slippery. I believe they call it ecstatic material. And so I find it to be as easy or even easier to take off than the original. One of the coolest updates is the buckle on the helmet strap is now full carbon fiber. Totally unnecessary and probably doesn't save a ton of weight, but it looks killer. If you're specifically shopping the Atomic Punch color that they have available right now, here's a couple of shots of it out in the sunlight. And as you can see, it's mostly an orange, but compared to the Fox Shocks orange, definitely a little bit more pinkish or reddish. Uh, I would say it does have a, a touch of pink in it, but overall more of an orange. They called it Atomic Punch for a reason. It's not exactly any one color. It's Atomic Punch. It's kind of a good way to describe it, honestly. It's not just branding. The helmet does come with the helmet bag. This is the original actually, and this is the, the new updated version. So as you can see, new updated version has the, the Fox Head logo uh, much more prominently displayed on the sides. It's a little smaller on the original. Both have venting. Um, this is the venting on the original. It's kind of harder to see, I think, on the new one, but it's definitely still very vented. This is one here and then on the back and then up top, you got the RPC logo, Fox, nothing on the back here. The original, that was kind of the only logo, I think. Other differences, the original just had a single handle. The updated one has kind of more traditional, I guess, two handle gym bag style, I guess. The original did have a cool little side pocket that even had a zipper, but I would use it mainly to store gloves, which uh, was definitely handy. No side pockets on the updated version, so that's definitely kind of a downgrade. But overall, the quality of the bag feels like an upgrade. So the updated does have this handle where you can just use one hand to hold both, both sides of the zipper. And then there's some Velcro that is on the end of the flap there as well. And then you open it right up. Pull out your helmet. This updated bag definitely holds its shape better than the original, I think. There's kind of some wiring. You can see interior, very basic interior. It is kind of padded and has a nice soft fabric so it doesn't scratch your helmet, but nothing in there, no pockets or anything. The original, for comparison's sake, did not have a handle. You had to pull two zippers down and then it opened, instead of from the top, opens in the front. So that is kind of a nice thing on this updated one as well, is it does open from the top, so less likely to get dirt in there and stuff, because you kind of have this. Original didn't really have anything in there either, no pockets or anything. Kind of similar soft padded fabric. So it's a toss up. This one overall feels a little higher quality. It has the, the logos more prominently displayed, which is kind of cool. Losing the side pocket for gloves though is kind of a big loss for me. It's a bummer to have to put sweaty gloves inside the helmet itself. Last thing I'll mention is the bottom of the bags. The original had the same kind of flimsy fabric on the, the bottom there, whereas this new updated one has very fine kind of hard rubber grip surface. If you rub your finger across there, it's a very bizarre feeling. It feels like you're rubbing the five o'clock shadow of a cyborg or something, because you know what that feels like, of course, right? Don't you? All right. And finally, just to be completest, the box itself that the helmet comes in. Nothing super special, but these things always look cool. Got the Fox and RPC branding kind of all over. I don't know if it's as cool as the original one, if I remember correctly. The original had more of an all black finish. This one has a little bit more of a the silver logo, but still super cool. Fox logo, the Fox head logo is always uh, super cool look and then got the RPC label up top there down here it's got some handles and then it actually does have the picture I don't think the original one did 
but it has a picture of the helmet itself with sizing information and kind of some further details. And then, yeah, just a normal cardboard box pretty much, so that's it. Oops. All right, that'll do it. That's my overview of the updated Fox RPC downhill helmet. It's uh, kind of an evolution upgrade, just putting the refinements on the, the thing, no major changes or anything. So if you have the original, probably good enough. The only thing that's maybe debatable if it's a real upgrade and who knows if it really is, is the switch from the fluid inside technology back to MIPS, which is just kind of interesting. But again, it sounds like MIPS just bought the fluid inside, so that might be why they don't have it anymore. So it's cool to see a company like Fox just refining their product. You know, I'm all for, instead of having a big revolutionary new helmet, if just every year they kind of keep putting refinements and nice little touches on the thing, that's awesome. That's great for the consumer. So kind of cool to see that they have done that. Rampage Pro Carbon is uh, already super cool and pretty legit helmet for mountain biking so now that it's a little comfier and has those refinements it's uh it's awesome so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video i guess peace